when we say we don't know what the Lord has in store for us, oh, I do. Our, uh, our reaping of what we have sown. So I really think this was the last reckoning for us. This was like, please, guys. You know, it's that, that old joke. I sent you a boat. I sent you, I sent you a helicopter. <laughs> you know, no, the Lord's going to save me. No, I, I sent all those. I got, I got it. We just continue to make the wrong choice. So I would look for the things that we're supposed to learn as individuals, but I think the country and all of us as individuals are going to um, reap what we have sown. And there's nothing that's going to get us out of that. His consequences are eternal. And they are, they are not judgments, they're promises. You do this, and this is what happens. You do this, and this is what happens. We did that, so we're going to get that. Now, we can still turn to him, which all of us have done, and, said, and can say, help us make it easier. Help us learn from it. Help us help other people through it. But I don't think there's a savior running in on a white horse. Because, uh, quite honestly, uh, we're, not, we're a petulant child. That we're the child that we have talked to, we have reasoned with, we have put in time out, we have grounded, we have spanked, and the behavior is getting worse. The last thing you do is right before the punishment, come in and say, you know what, I'm going to take all that away. That would be a bad dad. That would be a very bad dad. And the one thing I know about God, he ain't a bad dad.